We're going to draw a voltage and a current sine wave with Excel. Then we're going to calculate the power factor and the phase angle between the two. Let's look at some terms first though. So this is the graphic relations of angle functions by quadrants. So when we plot our sine curve here, we're just taking this distance here. This is the sine and we're going to plot those on a curve. So in other words, for 30 degrees here, we take the sine of the this angle theta here times the hypotenuse, that's going to be our amplitude, and then we plot that over on our curve here. Same thing for 45, 90, of course we're going to add more points. Now, in this quadrant here, 1 and 2 are both positive, so those are going to be plotted up here, and 3 or 4 for signs, they're negative, so they'll come back down around this side. Now we want to determine our power factor, so the power factor of any AC circuit is equal to the true power in watts divided by the parent power in volt amps which is equal to the cosine of the phase angle. So this phase angle is just the difference in degrees by which the current leads or lags the voltage. So the power factor is equal to uh, the VA times the cosine of th this phase angle divided by VA. So it's the true power in watts divided by the parent power in VA. So the power factor is just the cosine of this, this angle, fa this phase angle. You notice that this Greek symbol here is a circle with a uh, vertical line going through it and this theta here is a circle with a horizontal line going through it. There are two different angles there. So we're going to go over to Excel and see if we can draw a couple uh, sine waves here. All right, here we are at the spreadsheet. I filled in some numbers to save us some time, but we're going to, um, we're going to plot a um, a voltage curve and a amperage curve and we're going to calculate the power factor. We'll do it in degrees and in radians. And we'll start with the radians first. Now there's 360 degrees in, in a circle or 2 pi radian. Uh, circumference of a circle is uh, 2 pi times the radius. So it'll either go from 0 to 2 pi or from 0 to 360 degrees. We'll start with radians first. So We'll put a start with zero, and then down here we're we're going to put this formula in here. We're going to say uh, that this A2, this cell here, is going to we're going to add the um, pi divided by two to that one. So it's pi with these parentheses, and then we divide that by two, by twelve. I mean, uh, dividing by twelve is going to give us uh, twenty-four divisions because we're going to have 12 for each pi, we have 2 pi, so we got 24. So we have that formula in there, and we're just going to take this and we're going to drag that down to 26 down here. And we're going to say fill down, and it fills it in for us. Now, we started at 0, and we ended up at uh, 6.28, which is uh, 2 pi. Now, to do the sign, So all we have to do for sine is type in equals sine and then 2a. So this uh, 2b is going to be equal to uh, two, the sine of 2a. And we'll drag those down. And hit fill down. So here we are. We've got uh, 0. And we should end up at 0. Now this 2e minus 15, that's uh, actually a decimal with 15 zeros after it and then a 2, something like that. So we'll uh, we'll eliminate, eliminate that by doing um, rounding off. So now for our degrees over here, we can just uh, take the, the degrees off the radians. We could just type them in there by ourselves, but we're just going to take them off the, uh, the radians. So we're saying here equals degrees of 2a of this radian here. So we put those there and we'll drag that down and hit fill down. Now we've got uh, 0 to 360 degrees and it's the same as 0 to uh, 6.28 radians. Now for our voltage here, since it's in degrees and we want to round it, so we'll say equals round and then we have to say sine and then we have to type in radians and then uh, D2 we want to take the, the uh, this is equal to the sine of this uh, this one over here. So we go D2. And then uh, this 12 is the, uh, we're going to round it off to 12 places. 
And then we're going to times it by 170. Uh, 120 volt RMS uh, circuit is uh, the peak value is 170 volts. So we're going to put the peak in there of 170. So let's fill that down and hit uh, fill down. All right. So that's good. So now, uh, well, you know what? Let's take a look and see what this looks like. If it actually looks like something we can, looks like we can plot that out. So we we'll go over here to scatter and we'll go to this, this unit. Uh, perfect. Okay. Nice sine wave. Now let's do our, let's do our amps. So for amps, we can just, um, we don't have to do degrees or anything. We'll just type them in whatever we want. Let's assume that we have a, you know, um, true, um, you know, uh, capacitive circuit or a true inductive circuit. So uh, it would be 90 degrees out of uh, phase, you know, probably never happen, but we'll, we'll start with 90 degrees. So we go from 90 and then in this case, we want to hit fill, oops, fill series. And then we want to hit columns, and then we're going to go uh, 15 degrees apart, and we're going to stop at 360. All right, so now we've got 360. Now, so that's our our degrees, and over here in the amps, we want to take the sine of of this 90 degrees, so we're going to hit. Uh, We'll say equals, round, and then sine, and then radians again. And then this is F2, so we say F2. And then uh, 12, uh, we're going to round it off to 12 places again. And then we're going to times it by 100, we'll say 100 amps. If we did 10 amps or something, would be way down in the bottom here. We wouldn't be able to see it, so we'll go with 100 amps. And we'll drag that down to here and hit fill down. All right, so let's see what that looks like. So we come over here and we drag that over here. We hit insert, scatter. Any of these will work, but this one makes a nicer sine, sine wave. We don't need that, we'll get rid of that. There we go. Let's, um, Should we change that? Let's make that one purple. That looks all right. All right. Now we want to find a power factor. So for power factor, we need to take the cosine. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to say equals round cosine radians again and then we're going to subtract this d d2 from f2 and that's going to get our phase angle in between them this point to this point and this one happens to be 90 degrees okay and then we're just instead of going uh, rounded to 12 places we're just going to round off to two places so let's drag those down should be the same the whole way fill down there we go so it's zero degrees let's uh let's see what that looks like over here insert scatter and yeah. get rid of that so that's our power factor there this purple line that doesn't look good. Let's um, let's make that one black, and let's make this one uh, green, maybe. Uh, let's make that one uh, orange, maybe. 
It don't look good. There we go. <laughs> All right, that's good. Now, if we take um, our hundred and set, what we're doing here is we're taking E8, which is our um, at 90 degrees. We have a hundred. This is 90 degrees up here. We have 170 volts, our peak value. So we're taking our peak and we're times in that by our 0.707. That gives us our RMS value of our voltage. And we're going to do the same thing with our, our current. We're going to take, uh, this one happens in, at 90 degrees. It happens to be at G2. Then we take that times their 0.707. It's going to be 70 amps. So if we multiply those together for our VA, it's going to be 8,500 uh, amps. And zero watts our parent power is 8500 and our true power is zero now this one not going to really uh, happen you're not going to be able to get uh, 90 uh, be out of phase 90 degrees so let's just say that we're out of phase uh, by 30 degrees so we'll start with start with 30 here and hit enter and then we'll let's uh fill these down here fill fill series and uh, 15 and stop at 360 again all right and hit enter oh there we go and so we need to change this because that's not at uh, G2 is no longer at 90. We have to find here's 90 degrees here, and that's six. So we want to make this a um, a six. All right. There we go. So it's going to be. Uh, now we have, you know, 8,500 again, but our watts is going to be uh, 7,400 watts. If the power company doesn't charge you for having a bad uh, power factor, then it's to your advantage just to leave it alone. But if you are getting charged for the uh, power factor, then you can uh, do take steps to uh, correct your uh, power factor. Anyway, uh, that's it. Uh, thank you.